Hello and welcome to this first look mod video. Today we're going to be looking at the small grain silo pack by Bart and that's Bart with a capital T. Let's jump in, let's go. So in Bart's small grain silo pack we get four silos. There's the 20 ton silo and the 20 ton silo extension and then 30 ton silo and a 30 ton silo extension. If we go to silos you'll see we have the 30 ton and the 20 ton, quite cheap, 9,000 and 12,000 respectively. We're going to pop them down. Give it a little flip around. We will stick one here. And then we'll stick this one here. We'll have a look at both of them. Compare sizes, as you do as men. And then also if we go over to silo extensions, scroll down and you'll see we then have the 30 ton silo extension for 9,000. We just, if I press B, we can just pop that down there, get that in nice and tight. And then we've got the 20 ton silo extension for 6,000. Again, we'll pop that in right next to it. So that's... Now 20,000, 20,000, we've got 40,000 litres, and here we've got 30 and 30, so we've got 60,000 litres. Um, the upkeep on each of these is uh, $10 per month or per day as it takes over, depending on the, your play speed. So let's get down there, let's have a look at them. So let's get up close and personal. I do apologise if you can hear anything strange in the background. Santa Claus is driving down the road in a milk float. <laughs> How inconvenient of him. Um, but yeah, these, these are lovely. I like these. Uh, these are ones that I used on Zaloinka in 22. So uh, a lovely conversion. I want to get my torch out because the sun is never in the right place when we do these. That nice old galvanized steel. And if I remember rightly, if we come up to them, we can put the uh, auger away. Can we put the pipe away as well? Excellent. So we can put the fill and the empty auger away. So this is the empty auger, fill auger, there it is. So you can just drive around, get past, lovely stuff. I like that. That's why I liked it on Zaloinka, because it was a tight farm that I had, so. Put it back, there we go. Really nice, I like these. I like the older looking stuff. I'm thinking about swapping out and putting these on my... My... <laughs> In quotation marks, British Dairy Farm that I've got on uh, Riverbend Springs now. I think these would fit in nicely for that. So let's see them in action, shall we? Let's go and grab ourselves a trailer and some grains and have a little look at them. So I've been and got myself a cramp kipper with some corn and we'll uh, empty some of that in there. I'll just bring it around so we can see it. All goes in nicely. So we've got 40,000 litres here with the uh, double ex or with the, sing the single extension on there. And if we go and have a look at our stocks, you can see it's there. Corn. And then we'll give it an unload to check that that's working so we can go through. You can see what we can hold in here as well while we do this. We can do wheat, barley, oats, canola, sorghum, sunflowers, soybeans, corn, on grain rice, regular rice. So holds all the uh, combinable crops. get our unload like I said I like these I liked them before I like them now I think they look great I think they fit in if you do that small farm let's play style or a nice like, small realistic style these are great really good I like that you can fold them up I like that tidiness you can have with it and to be thorough we will check the 30,000 litres as well pull that in and as you can see, it unloads perfectly fine behind us as well. So that was the small grain solar pack by Bart with a capital T. I think these are great. I'll definitely get some use out of these. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Turn the bell notification on and find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.